Oh, the timing couldn't be better for two women taking on a new business venture in Brunswick. Yeah, these two have traveled the world for their careers, one in the restaurant realm and the other all things agriculture. At one point even they were in Paris at the same time for their respective studies, but now they're putting down some roots, literally. We were friends since I like can remember friendships. <laughs> so since we were very, very little. At Tao Yuen in Brunswick. It's a very herb heavy dish. Owner Kara Stadler's got a lot more cooking than this summer menu staple. And she has help from her childhood friend. Kind of a dream come true for me. Behind the restaurant, construction is underway on the home base for Canopy Farms. Sort of look like dark dungeons right now. In the basement, pools soon to be filled with water and eventually rainbow trout. The main level, a commercial kitchen and cafe, and up to the roof. Plant beds are assembled and almost ready for soil. This will allow us to have produce that is immediately available to us all year round. That's the aim of aquaponics. Aquaponics, it's um, growing fish and plants on a loop. Piping connects the water from the fish tanks in the basement to the rooftop greenhouse. Fish waste provides nutrients and then the plants filter uh, the water for the fish so we can use less water because we're recycling it all the time. The space has the potential to grow everything from leafy greens to produce that's a little more exotic. Maybe lotus root, uh, potentially wasabi. The produce will be used in the Canopy Farms Cafe or at any of Stadler's three restaurants, Tao Yuen, Bao Bao and Leo. And her business partner for those? her mother. One could argue a mother-daughter combo is risky business or running one with your best friend. I mean, I work 80 to 100 hours a week, and so I spend a lot of time with the key people in my company. But Stadler says she wouldn't have it any other way. Let's be real, because chef life is crazy, and so is a farmer's life. Like, they're two of the most difficult jobs, and we only do them because we love them. Otherwise, we're crazy. And when it comes to their successful Kickstarter, they nearly doubled their $25,000 goal well ahead of tomorrow's deadline. An official opening date has yet to be determined, but Kate and Kara are hoping it's soon. Really cool story. I know. It was really very interesting climbing right? up all those stairs and great view from the top. Yeah, I would have gone just one, one, <laughs> one step, maybe two. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Got my exercise yeah. in that day. My <laughs> Fitbit was loving me.